Welcome to part two of the origami crab tutorial. Okay, so if you follow along in step one, uh, the, the uh, first video, uh, you'll have gotten to this part here. This is a good stopping point. So now we're going to start up again. So take these points, and I want you to just very bring them into the center and just make a little mark fold. And then you're going to mountain fold to that mark. Like that. So just mark fold. And mountain fold. Just do that on all four corners. Okay. Now the next step is we're going to work on the legs. So turn the model over and start here. Fold it to the center paper here, just like this. Do that on the other part here. Okay. Now take this point here and we're going to bring it over. And what you're going to do is, you see this metal crease here? Well, you want to have the leg about the same width as the space between that. So about like there. Okay. Do the same thing here. Bring it over. Fold it over about that distance there. Same distance from the middle crease to the edge as the outside edge to the inside of here. So. Okay. Do the same thing on this leg here. Okay, so now we're going to work on the claws. So take the center, uh, take the sides here and fold it in to the center crease, just like this. Do that on all four. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to pop out this hidden paper here. So you're going to pull this paper and you're going to slip it in like that. You see that? I'm going to do the same thing over here. Pull this out just like that. Okay. Pull the hidden paper and just slip it right here. Okay, now the next step is you can just fold this over just to try and lock it close. It doesn't have to be precise, but it's just like something like that. Just to try and help lock it in. With, if you're using like foil paper or something, it'll really do. It might kind of be, it might come undone at some point with printer paper like I've got. But so I'll just fold it over like that so it locks the paper together. Okay, now. Take this corner 
and fold it over to the center crease. Okay, unfold it. Now you're going to reverse fold it, but only partly. What you're going to do is you're going to leave this part out and fold it down. I think you're actually going to, and, and you're actually going to pull this paper a little bit so it sticks out more like, like this. Okay? So I'll show you again. Fold it over to the center crease. Unfold it. Then reverse fold it. They're nice and pointy, but when you reverse fold it, you can make it about the same line as here. And crease the paper. There you go. Okay. And just the last step with the claws is just fold it over. This is a little bit arbitrary. It's just whatever you like about. I'm going to do it like that. Make all your creases real sharp there. Okay. So finally, we're going to work on the eyes. So unfold these two points here. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this top flap and you're going to start to fold it to the center. And in doing so, you're going to take this triangle and you're going to fold it down right along this already previous kind of crease you'd started. So just collapse the paper like that. Make sure to give it a good crease here, this thick paper. Okay, and then on the folds we'd already made, you're going to fold these up and then you're going to open it. Just open the uh, eye up here kind of squash it just a little bit to whatever you like. You make it kind of really open or really closed. Just like that. So, and that's the design. You can uh, shape it any more you like, but uh, it's supposed to stand. This is the, keep those kind of pinched, but uh, it'll stand up on its own. You can, uh, you can walk it around. <laughs> you can uh, engage in grab battles. <laughs> okay, well, uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you didn't, don't forget to click on the like button. Also, uh, subscribe to my channel for more great videos. And I'll see you guys soon. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay. Bye-bye.